This is the worst. Oh, oh no! 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 Is this thing on? Hi guys, we're back again with another music video. Reaction video <laughs> to a music video. We could make a music video. I mean, shoot, <laughs> it could be another dance battle. I'm Let us saying. know if you want us to make our own music video or dance video. <laughs> Please no. We've done one before. <laughs> we'll just tag it right there. But guys, so for today's video, it's a little controversial. Um, I'll let my wife take over for this one. <laughs> I'm not really sure like where in the world or all of the world if it was controversial, but I did see a lot of things popping up on Twitter where people were unhappy with the title of IU's song, Love Wins, because that's a term coined by the LGBTQ plus community. And I'm not sure if she was completely aware of that, honestly, because Korea just like lives within its own culture. So maybe, I mean, obviously there's LGBTQ plus people in Korea, but they don't really speak out about it because it's still kind of taboo in their culture slash community. So okay. when all that backlash was happening before the song was even released, um, she decided to change the title to Love Wins All. So it's kind of keeping the same title, but now it's different. She added a word to it. Okay. Um, and then when the music video came out, I saw a lot of spoilers, a lot of clips from the music video where people were saying it was insensitive to the disabled community and that IU was being an ableist. And I'm kind of curious to see what they mean by that because from what I saw, I didn't really see an issue, but I only saw snippets and spoilers. I didn't really watch the whole thing, so I'm not sure exactly where or if the whole idea of it was supposed to be ableist, but we'll see how we feel when we watch it. Although, again, I'm not sure if this was a global opinion or if this was just like the Korean community attacking her or just like the North American community attacking her. So, I have we'll a see. lot of questions now. Cause then like, if, so the term love wins. So because she said that as like the title of the video, people were upset about just the title alone without actually watching the video? Well, the video and the song had not been released at that time where she said this is going to be the name of the song. And people were like, wait, that name's not okay. So that's when all of that stuff started happening. All she okay. did was announce this is the title. And this, oh, well, yeah, you already said that you didn't know like what part of the world people were upset about. Like, is Do you think it could have been Americans? Probably. Mm. We are a very opinionated community. But she did change the title, so I mean, I guess I would say that's her taking accountability, although I don't recall her making a statement, but again, like I'm not an IU super fan. I don't know too much about her or her music. This will be like, I don't know, one of the first times I really like sitting down and watching and listening to her stuff. Okay. I'm curious to see. Like, especially because you said it, people felt it was enabling to the disability community or people who are disabled. Yeah, so, she was being an ableist. An ableist too, okay. So, now I'm very curious to know like what they could have meant by that. Um, I haven't seen like any spoilers. Like, I think the only thing I seen as of right now was just like the, like the cover of like her and V side by side. Oh. Um, that's like all I really know. Mm -hmm. And like, I think the cover art, I think he has like an eye that's messed up or like it's like covered. One so. eye's blue. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna assume he's blind in one eye. That's okay. what everyone's so peeled about. Peeled. Pissed off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad with terms. Okay, so. Right, yeah, let's, um, let's just watch this video and then we'll talk about it. That's a nice sweater off for it. V sweater? Yeah, what the hell is that? A cube. Everybody's been saying like, oh, that damn cube. I hate that cube. F the cube. I've seen that cube in Yu-Gi-Oh before. <laughs> but they're in rags. Rags to riches. Yo, even though... You saw that? What? I think she's speaking in sign language to him. Do people not like that? Right. I mean, I feel like that's kind of cool because she's incorporating another language. Because sign language mm. is its own form. 
even though he's in rags, he look good. He always look good. I should be like him. That man's handsome. Scary. Mm -hmm. It's giving zombie apocalypse. I would have farted right then and there. <laughs> you would have been farting. <laughs> <laughs> On the way over, I would have been farting. Does she have lip piercing? Yeah. Hmm. Is that real or is it? Oh. She's really pretty. No lip piercing in this one. Oh. They look almost like pristine. Damn. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He doesn't have that blue eye. Mm. She almost poked him in the eye. I know a lot of fans were probably like, yo, let that be me. Was the food spoiled? Yeah, it's moldy. They're in an abandoned, deserted mall. Mm -hmm. Why is this in a mall? It's just like a restaurant? It looks too fancy. I mean, in a few malls, there's like usually restaurants, right? Not this nice. That's true. Eh. KOP? True. Okay. That's a little... That's a little scary to be honest. Yeah, they're all hooded. Do you see all do they see all those black people touching them? <laughs> I would be afraid of all those black people touching me. Why you gotta say it like that? I know it sounds wrong, but You could say hooded people. All or... those hooded all those people in black hoods touching me. <laughs> I'd be afraid. Oh. I have a lot of questions right now about that one part. They're still messed up in the photo strip. That's not even what I want to ask. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you after this. Why are they throwing the VHS <laughs> tapes? I don't know. That's such a lovely scene. Mm -hmm. She keeps like motioning towards his eye. Like she's so happy that his eye is brown. Oh shit, the cube. Where did it come from? It pulled up for the scene. Like, did it hey. come through that doorway? I think so. How does it fit perfectly though? I know. Yo, that cube is fast. Courtesy of the editors. <laughs> what was that? A hole in the wall? But like the rocks are floating. No, like I think that's more cubes. Damn, that's a lot. Is this a alien invasion? Oh, this is the worst. Oh, oh no, no, no! He fucking it up though. Yeah. He didn't do nothing. Oh my god. How did his shirt get messed up when he was attacking the cube? No, this is like dumb. The real thumb. Not the oh, perfect thumb that we were seeing. Okay. He has a blue eye again. <gasps> oh! That's his good eye! I'm so sad. I guess girl love wins all. Oh, you see their, their like skin is like boiling off. Yeah, there's steam in the background. Did it eat them? Where'd they go? Damn. Are they ghosts? I think it ate them. They floated up. Yeah. But the clothes are coming down. He ain't like the clothes. He couldn't eat the fabric. It was too complex. So whenever it eats the people, it just puts the clothes in the same place. He's organized. <laughs> <laughs> it's an organized Orga cube. Organized crime? Oh god. Is is V and um IU? Are they a thing? No, she has a boyfriend. What? Swear. Swear down. He mad jealous right now. True, I would be. I would have I... to break up for my pride. Like, oh you were so happy with him? Be with him then. Period. <laughs> Cause like you the chemistry there. Well. <laughs> I don't know where he was going with that. I had many things I wanted to say at once. 
Well, V has a history in acting, albeit it was one time and he wasn't a love interest. But he does have, I guess you would say, like a passion for acting. Okay. And also performing. He's a performer. So with all of that training and so many years in the industry, I was going to say years in service. Bring him back from the military. <laughs> but... How long has it been since he's like joined the military? I think since December. Oh, so three months? Three, three or four months now, give or take? <laughs> Don't talk about it. I'm sorry. Don't say anymore. But I feel like that's why he's really good at like performing and um, putting on a face for the camera. And mm. Ayu's been in the industry even longer. She's like an icon. Mm. How old is she? I don't know. Probably in her 30s. Hmm. And V is our age, so he's only like a few. Shh. I'm assuming I can't say it. <laughs> he's in his 20s. You don't need to know where. Okay, sorry. <laughs> How dare you? Sorry, babe. I didn't mean to do it like that. Um. But yeah, um, I I like that video a lot. I like that la like that scene right before they were about to like you know get like burnt alive. I don't know if they got burnt alive or they got ate because when they <laughs> got floated. But I like that she covered his good eye. I know. Like that was like very beautiful, very subtle. Too. I don't know what about that really like broke my heart. I want to watch it again, even though I know it ends badly. Mm. Yeah, at that cube, like everybody else was saying. <laughs> you know, you know cubes. Um, and another thing that I had noticed in the video, it was, um, she never talked. She only signed to him the entire yeah, time. Yeah, so she's mute? I would, I would assume, probably. Because she could obviously hear him. Was he speaking? I think he I, signed as well. I don't remember him doing anything. I, all I remember him just looking at her. But that was, like, very nice. I, I think that might have been my favorite, like, music video so far. That we've watched together. That, that we watched together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was, that was, that was very nice. I feel like there was a very deep storyline to that. It was really giving movie vibes. Mm hmm And it had a conclusion, although we don't know what happened to them. We know something bad happened. They're gone. They're done. Based off of that huge mound of clothing, like, they're not the first ones to be gone like that. And they were obviously trying to avoid this fate, but I think like the whole meaning of it is like in the end they were still together and they left the world together. Mm. So even though it had to end that way, like it wasn't all bad. So like love wins all. And I, I think by the end they weren't afraid anymore. They did their best to fight and to yeah. run away and all of that. But eventually they gave up, I guess, but they were content because they were together. Agreed. I um I do think though, I I I know it's wrong to just double down, but I feel like it having the title Love Wins, I feel like that would have been better. Like I know it would have probably been um hurting another hurting a community, but I feel like for this video and for the message that the video had, I, I do think the term love wins would have been nice. It would have been like fitting, but love wins all that still does fit. But I do wonder, like before she had to change the name to love wins all, mm -hmm. was the chorus different? Because she sings love wins all. But where the ableist part comes in, I mean, I guess I can see people being upset because like, they have these disabilities and then on the camera they don't. But I mean, wouldn't that also go for the lip piercing that you mentioned she had? And then yeah. when they were perfect, they didn't. And like, when you think of perfection or normalism, don't they kind of always go hand in hand anyways? And we don't mean any like malintent by that. But when you are trying to fit into world standards, you know, of what people believe is perfect or yeah. correct or right, that's what we think about like not having something that is considered a disability mm. or being 2020 you know i mean that would go for glasses like if they had glasses and then had better vision without it like they would remove the glasses right but would yeah. she be ableist if she did that instead oh uh, no yeah. but it's an issue because an actual eyeball changed color like i don't think it's that deep again like i 
don't have a disability i don't identify as that so maybe it's insensitive for me to say that but that's just my point of view when i watched the video i didn't feel like she was being rude i didn't feel that she was being insensitive it didn't even come across my mind like oh yeah. she's an ableist you know yeah i wasn't thinking that but again like that could just be insensitive but i feel like she was really trying to just get this message across about love overcoming all of that and like even though they were living in that perfect world they died anyway it's not like they got to live that way forever i mean to that same point though i love the fact that that cube ripped them out of that reality like when they were in this perfect reality together he forced them out and was hey, like who said the cubes are he they forced them out <laughs> I was just like, this is where you guys belong. This is where you guys will be here until I. So that's that's really crazy. I didn't I didn't think about that until you said that. Like he forced them out of their false reality to bring them to what they are and what they will die as. In the end, I really got this feeling that she protected him throughout the entire music video. In the beginning, she was dragging him along to go inside the mall and he kept turning around and looking back and kind of being like a step behind her. Mm. And then throughout, it felt like she was dragging him along and helping him. And in the end, she covered his eye. Although he did try to save them, he was the one that grabbed the pipe from her and was like, all right, let me end this. Yeah. So. But even if he would have been able to defeat the cube, there were going to be more cubes yeah, to come Yeah, because over. there were so many. But I yeah. think they just wanted to prolong the time they had together. Like, if someone was like, oh, I'm going to kill you now or later, you would choose later even though you know you're going to die either way. I think I'll, I'll, just start, I'll start fighting first. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, yo, you don't got that time. We just gonna, we going to get this fair one out. If I lose, I lose. That's my business. <laughs> but, <laughs> what about me? Babe, we we going out together, like. <laughs> so you you have to fight with me. Would you rather die later, or would you rather die? If fighting? I have no choice in a situation, that is a false reality of choice. Like, do you yeah. want to die now or later? I'm dying anyways. Why does it matter when? Just do it now, then. End me. So I think we're both down to die now. <laughs> Yeah, but you want to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd rather just fight. Let me rest in peace. <laughs> I can rest in peace after I die. Like, <laughs> Immediately. Okay, well, that will be a wrap for our video today. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We have been the Civils, and we will love to say farewell, good evening, and good night to all of you. Toodaloo.